Hello everyone, I'm Shivam Pasari and welcome to ASIN Academy. Now our topic for today is cyclicity. Now this is a very small topic but a very interesting one and questions from this topic comes in various competitive exams, be it your joint entrance exam, MBA entrance exam, GMAT, GRE and in many maths olympiads also questions from this topic come. So let's begin with the topic. Before diving into the concept, let us first find out what does cyclicity means. So cyclicity is basically a concept by which we can find out the unit digit of any number raised to any arbitrary power. What I'm trying to say is that if I'm given a number x and I have raised it to the power p and I am told to find out its unit digit then by the help of this concept cyclicity I can easily find out its unit digit. Let's first find out how to find the cyclicity of a number. Now let's say I have given you this number x and I have also provided that its unit digit is a. Now to find out the cyclicity of this number what you have to do is you have to raise the number a to different powers starting from 2 then 3 then 4 and till 5. Now the point at which the unit digit of these numbers start repeating that will be a point of cyclicity. <clears throat> Suppose at a raised to the power c the unit digit again comes out to be a. So c will be our point of cyclicity and c minus 1 will be the value of the cyclicity. Now since c can range between 2 to 5 therefore c minus 1 will have a value from 1 to 4. So it implies that the cyclicity of a number cannot be less than 1 and cannot be greater than 4. Now this is a very important part so listen it carefully. Suppose I have given you this number a and I have raised it to the power p. Now this number is an n digit number but we know its last digit that is x. Now suppose I have given you an another number b and I have raised it to the same power p and this is also an n digit number and suppose its unit digit is y. Now if I give you this information that the unit digit of A and the unit digit of B was same then I can say that x is equal to y. Now by this I can conclude that 73 to the power x and 33 to the power x will have the same unit digit. 97 to the power y, 77 to the power y will have the same unit digit. 55 to the power n. 85 to the power n will have the same unit digit or, or whatever may be the numbers if they have the same unit digit and the same power then the numbers will have the same unit digit. Now to solve the questions fast we have to remember the cyclicity of the numbers. So 0, 1, 5 and 6 have the cyclicity as 1, 4 and 9 has the cyclicity as 2 and the remaining 2, 3, 7 and 8 have the cyclicity as 4. Now, if you are confused that why I have only taken the values from 0 to 9 then listen this part carefully. Since in a number any digit can only have these 10 possibilities so we are only concerned with the numbers from 0 to 9. Now we shall learn how to find out the unit digit of the number in 3 simple steps. Suppose I tell you that you have to find out the unit digit of this number 137 raised to the power 73. Now our first step would be we have to note down the unit digit of the number. Now in this case the unit digit is 7. Now this will be our first step. Now in the second step what we have to do is we have to find out the remainder upon dividing the power of the given number with the cyclicity of the unit digit of the given number. We know that the cyclicity of the number 7 is 4 so we will divide 73 by 4 and the remainder upon dividing is 1. In our third and final step we will raise this unit digit 7 to the remainder that we have got in the second step that is 1 and this will be our answer. 
Now, before moving ahead, listen to this point carefully. If a number ends with 0, 1, 5 or 6 will always end in the numbers 0, 1, 5 and 6 respectively even if they are raised to any arbitrary power. This is because these four numbers has a cyclicity as 1. So I am repeating it again if the numbers ends with 0, 1, 5 or 6 will always end with 0, 1, 5 and 6 respectively no matter what power they are raised to. Now in the exam the question will never ask you about the cyclicity of the number they will just ask you about its unit digit. I hope that you have understood the concept of cyclicity and you will be able to find out the unit digit of any number and if not let us find out with some few examples. Our first question is given that find the unit digit of this number 581 raised to the power 73. Now I can clearly see that its unit digit is 1 so I can blindly write the answer as 1. Now moving on to our second question we are given that find the unit digit of this number 374 raised to the power 85. Now following our three steps, step number one we have to write down the unit digit which is 4. Step number two we have to find out the remainder on dividing the power with the cyclicity of the number 4. Now we know that the cyclicity of the number 4 is 2 and upon dividing I get the remainder as 1. So my answer will be 4 to the power 1 that is 4. Now in the third question we are given that find out the unit digit of 7 raised to the power 39 into 4 raised to the power 93. This is a different kind of question and first let us understand how to find the unit digit in these cases. First we will find out the unit digit of the first number. Suppose that is a then we will find out the unit digit of the second number suppose it to be b and then we will apply the same expression that is given in the question that is multiplication sign and let's say after multiplying these two numbers we get the value as n now my answer will be the unit digit of the number n now let us make this concept clearer by solving this problem. First we will find out the unit digit of 7 raised to the power 39. So I will divide the power 39 with the cyclicity of the number 7 that is 4 and I will get the remainder as 3 and my answer will be the unit digit of 7 raised to the power 3 that is the unit digit of 343. So for the first number the unit digit will be 3. For the first number we have find out that this unit digit is 3. Now moving on for the second number we will divide the power 93 with the cyclicity of the number 4 that is 2 and upon dividing I will get the remainder as 1. So my answer will be 4 raised to the power 1 that is 4. For the first number I have got the cyclicity as 3 and for the second number I have got the cyclicity as 4. According to the concept we will find out the product of these two numbers and that is 12. So our final answer would be the unit digit of this number that is 2. Now that was all for this video and I hope that you understood all the concepts of cyclicity. Now if you still have any doubt then check out the description box of this video and you will find the full documentation of this video with some basic problems that will clarify your doubts if there are any. And I hope that you enjoyed today's lecture and if you did then please subscribe to the channel ASIN Academy.